Hey you guys, um, talking a little low right now because everybody's asleep but me. It's 10.30 so it's not that late. I just got out of the shower, shower hair, look at that. It's like, oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully it's not as bad as it looks on the little screen. Well, I mean a girl can hope, but um, this was actually... I wanted to just make a little video to talk about some of the things that people... I posted a video about um, food addiction and sobriety, or my sobriety, and um, some people made some comments. I mean, actually, a couple of people commented, and I thank you all for commenting. But, um... One of them was... Uh... Hair by Ash. And she wrote, Do you ever feel guilty about eating fast food? Um, I do. It makes me feel sick and ashamed. Well, here is the thing about eating fast food. And this is how I have been able to control it. <laughs> um, since starting Weight Watchers, my whole thing has been, I can have anything as long as I point it. And I have never once... And I, you know what? I was going to say that I know of, but I can tell you pretty much... Um, no, never. I have never once eaten anything that I didn't point. I have had, um, one day where, no, two days where I was like, I'm going to eat whatever I want, but I am going to still point it. Like, I'm not going to restrict myself to a point scale, but I am writing down and pointing my food just to see what I'm doing. Um, and that was the 4th of July, which is my dad's birthday, and it's always a big party with lots of food. And that day, I did keep it under, like, 35 points, my extra points. Um, and the other time was my daughter's birthday party, where there again, I did keep it under my extra points. So, I did not worry, but I did point. So anyway, since the beginning of this, my whole thing has been... I can eat whatever I want as long as I'm honest about it, I write it down, and I point it. And what happens in that is that like when we're planning to go out to eat, I spend a lot of time figuring out what I'm going to eat, doing a lot of research on nutrition and stuff. And um, if I want to get something from a fast food restaurant, I'm like, I can have it as long as I can put it in my points. So I would like do all this research. Well, that simple act of research actually eliminates like 90% of the impulse addiction eating. Because by postponing it long enough to look it up and research it, I give myself time to not give in and wind up not eating it. Then the other 10% of the time, when I realize what it is I'm about to do to my body, it doesn't matter that I can fit it in my points. I don't want to do it anymore. It's like when you look something up and it's like, oh, like, okay, we have a, um, a restaurant down here in my area and it's pretty famous and it's amazingly good. It's sick how good the food is. And they make a really sloppy New Orleans like perfect po' boy, roast beef po' boy, gravy, dressing, it's awesome. And I was like, you know what, I've been doing this, I've done really well, I'm going to look that up and have it because it's something that I really do like and enjoy. Well, when I did the research, which you can't even get the nutrition facts for that restaurant, but when I did the research, it was somewhere like around... A rough estimate, which I'm sure it would be worse if you actually got it, but a rough estimate was for half of a sandwich, it was 1,500 points. Okay. So that's like 30 points. And I could fit that in. I could use my weekly allowance. But all I could think was, I don't want to consume 1,500... It was 1,500 calories. I don't want to consume 1,500 calories. I don't want to do that in one sitting. I don't want to 
do that to my body even if I can absorb it and not have a gain like it's so much more than just gain or lose it's being healthy and once you start paying attention to those things so no I, I it's not necessarily guilt that keeps me away from it it's the fact that like now I put information before satisfaction so before I can satisfy a craving or an urge I get the information and by doing that it winds up that I would say I filter out 99.9% .9 of it. So that's how I handle that. Um, and then a totally new me 2010 mentioned that she has had to learn she can't, that she cannot eat fast food anywhere except Subway because it will lead to overeating. Um, restaurants scare her. Uh, my husband eats fast food all the time, and still after eight months on Weight Watchers, he will ask me if I want anything at the drive-thru drive -thru menu. Okay, let me tell you something. <laughs> this still happens to me. People will still be like, oh, do you want something? And part of it is that they're trying to be nice and make sure I, I understand I'm included. But another part of it is that they forget. And I think that there's a teeny tiny smidge sometimes when certain people do it, where it's almost like a sabotage, like even if it's subconscious. But, um... I still go through that too. I mean, people, I mean, I've lost 72.7 pounds. People are really starting to notice now. Um, and still, they'll ask me if I want McDonald's or like just different things. Like, oh man, you, uh, I admire your dedication. Want McDonald's? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> um, as far as my partner, uh, we had this one incident. I think I talked to y'all about this before, but I'll say it again. I am so serious about not eating anything I can't point, I can't figure out. So one day she made miso soup, which could not have been bad, but like she was like, oh, take a bite, take a bite. And I felt, I was like between this rock and this hard place. Like I didn't want to take the bite because I couldn't point it. But on the other hand, I didn't want to not taste something she made. And I took a bite and it was good. And I was like, yes, it's nice. But then I instantly became angry and I lashed out horribly and I was so ugly and I was like, how could you make me do that? And I'm so angry at me, blah, blah, blah. And I sat down and I was like, I'm not even angry at you. I'm angry at myself for letting myself be pushed into taking a bite of soup that I can't point. And I really wigged out. And I think that that was a defining moment for her where she realized this is a lot bigger than just a diet or just a coming or a going. Like this is something that I need to help her with and work with her because it's very serious. And since then, we've been pretty much on the same page. She will still ask me if I want something or offer things, but she'll also hide when she's eating things she knows I might want, but I don't actually want. So she's really cool about things like that. Um, but yeah, I still go through the same thing. I just thought that was funny. On the other hand, uh, since you've already hung in here with me for eight minutes, I'll tell you this, people have been noticing. Um, a guy at work who's a real D head, he was all like, damn girl, like you lost some weight, huh? And I was like, yeah, I lost some weight. And he was like, no, like you lost some weight. I was like, thanks. There's this other guy who's a total, I mean, he's a boss of another department and he's, he doesn't notice other people. He'll run right over you in the hallway because you're a peon and you don't matter, right? So um, he said to me today, I'm going to have to get you some lead shoes. And he was like practically running over me when he said it. So I thought it was because I was going so slow. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? He was like, no, because if you lose any more weight, you're going to float away. <laughs> We're going to have to weight your shoes. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> and there are like a lot of people are noticing and saying things like that. And it's really kind of neat. It's really wild. I, I am noticing more like in my hands, like my hands look different. You know, it's weird to look at them. Like, I stare at my hands a lot lately because it's like, I can, they're, I can see them move and they're like, I have wrists. Look at that, I have wrists. They're, it's weird. <laughs> it's like, I'm starting to notice a lot more stuff like that. So, it's cool. All right, just wanted a little follow-up, a little fun little video to tell you. I know where y'all are coming from on those comments. Please keep the comments coming. I love them. I really love when comments inspire videos because it's fun to make videos. <laughs> Went to the gym today and killed it, man. I was running and it's so awesome. A lot of times I only have half an hour, but you gotta make that half an hour count. Boy, I sweat it out and 
there is no greater feeling. Well, I mean, maybe a couple, like, like beach time with your kids or camping. But I mean, like, as far as physical activity, man, that run is awesome. That run is awesome.